what was it that drew you to that that you want the need to understand the people on the ground i wanted to work with lives like real lives because when we did marketing you know and advocacy we shared a lot about what the organization's mission is mm -hmm. the kind of work we do and it was meaningful but i felt that i also didn't really know the clients as well mm -hmm. as the teachers did or as the you know the staff that worked with them did so i wanted to yeah, i really wanted to connect with people on another level so mm -hmm. that's when i ventured into teaching yeah it, it's definitely a different ball game but yeah. you know in teaching and working in a special needs organization i feel like i see the the world a bit i don't know differently because every day you're around kids you know with so i the kids that we work with are between 7 to 18 they have cerebral palsy or multiple disabilities um when i when when i go to work every day i see kids who are not able to walk kids who are not able to talk or kids they are not able to maybe eat by themselves they need to be tube fed mm. you know they they take a liquid diet i feel like i see a very real side of life and you know on a day to day basis our friends most of our friends don't have disabilities, you know. Mm -hmm. But when I come to work, I see a whole different side of Singapore. Like, these are the number of kids with disabilities. And these are very real families mm. who, who, to a certain extent, although they love the kid, they struggle as well. So I see a very real side of life. And it's a privilege to me to be able to have an opportunity to teach and do what I can. Right. Yeah. So, so that's the thing, you see, Esther. I feel like you're actually, you mentioned the word real. You see the real side of Singapore, mm -hmm. you see the real side of people, right? And that's the same thing also the way you described the uh, global, what do you call it? Global mindset, mm -hmm. right? When you say that, you know, yeah. people know about people from other countries that there are other countries, but you don't really know about the people there, the lives that they are going through, right? And that's the real mm -hmm. side of things. So, that's one of the things why I, I was really interested in getting you on the podcast to discuss about this because you have this certain point of view about getting deep, like the, the title suggests, deep culture. So <laughs> don't laugh as I'm praising you here. <laughs> I know. Sorry, I'm responding to your compliment. That's right. <laughs> so yeah, so when you see this real side of Singapore, of uh, or rather this real side of lives right what is it that you get out of it what is the feeling that you get that inspires you to continue to want to do mm. more i feel like i don't know okay it's about to get philosophical okay mm -hmm. <laughs> i think at the end of the day or at the end of my life i don't want my life to be about like a paper chase mm. or about being subject to this economy that trades by money. Okay. I feel like at the end of the day, what really matters in life is about people. Mm. Yeah. So, of course, if it's about people, I want to know the real side of them. And I think that's what gives a lot of meaning to life. Mm -hmm. The connections that you have, the conversations that you make, that makes life, I don't know, enriching. And then that builds the connection between you and other people as well. Ah, uh, okay. And I, mean, I guess I'm just very drawn to the idea of authenticity and being real. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And yeah, you know, like no need to pretend. Just do what you want. Help people. Care for people. How important is it yeah. to you to be authentic? Very important, I think. Do you think you're authentic? I think I am. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly. I try, I try, at least I try to. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Especially in the relationships with the people closest to you, whether it's your boyfriend, girlfriend, I don't know, your good friends, your family. Yeah. Show your true self. Or else, at the end of the day, do you really want people to say, oh, actually, I realize I don't really know like this guy or this girl. I don't know what, what goes through his mind. I don't know what he wants. What's his passion? Mm. No. And be known. <laughs> <laughs> 